All right, how's everyone doing this afternoon? Cambridge. Well, let's hear it for our performers this afternoon in the Cambridge Artist Coalition. My name is Mike Connolly. I have the honor of serving on the Massachusetts legislature, but long before I was elected state rep, I got cut my teeth as an activist working on land use issues here in the city of Cambridge. And the truth is, we are facing an ongoing emergency in the shortage of affordable housing. We're facing an emergency in the shortage of artistic space, community space, open space, affordable retail space, basically space for anyone who isn't part of that 1%. Am I right, brothers and sisters? You know, uh, I'll talk a bit about EMF in a minute. I want to just first tell you a little bit about my own story because I think it's actually really relevant to why we're here today. I grew up in public housing in Norwood, Massachusetts, a city when I was growing up in Norwood, it was largely a white middle class city. I was living in the public housing and my family, we couldn't afford to take trips. I never went on an airplane when I was a kid. And around the time I was a teenager, my friends and I, we would get on the commuter rail, would take it into South Station, would get on the red line, would come into Central Square and Harvard Square. And I can remember as a teenager walking around this city and thinking to myself, wow, this is what the world is. This is what the rest of the world must be like because Norwood was pretty homogenous, a little bit boring growing up. And here we had culture, we had diversity, we have arts, we have a vibrant community. And that community is because of the people and because of the art and because of the sense of community. And we're losing that. And the reason why we're losing it is neoliberalism. The re reason why we're losing it is global finance. The reason why we're losing it is real estate speculation, like the real estate speculation that Mr. John P. D. Giovanni is doing right now with the EMF building. Now, the EMF building, as you've heard and as you all know really well, uh, was home to hundreds of artists and musicians. It was a place that I actually visited several times as a guest uh, on the Young uh, jerk show with with Mike Crawford and others. I've been to the building many times I appreciated the fact that there was this space right in Central Square the only officially recognized Cultural district here in Cambridge and what good will a cultural district be if the 99% of us who want to enjoy it can't afford to live or play in our community am I right? So I'm here to stand in solidarity with you. I'm honored to be here with our city councilor, Quentin Zondervan. Let's hear it for him. He'll be coming up to the stage in a little bit. And I'll tell you, I mean, it's beautiful that we're here today. I mean, I think we all understand that what John D. Giovanni is doing, unfortunately, is probably legal. There's no uh, immediate legal thing that we can do to say what you're doing is is, is not within the law. But here's the question. Just because something is legal doesn't make it right. What do you agree? And when groups of people, this is how it's always been, and this is how change happens, and this is how we make progress. When groups of people get together, when groups of people stand together, when we come together and we acknowledge what's happening and we call out people like John D. Giovanni and we call out the global real estate speculators and financiers and we start to demand that the value that's been created by the artists in our community remains in our community that our community remains accessible yes. to all of us who have made it what it is when we start to do that we can make change yes. and so that's why i'm here today as state representative i get all sorts of invitations to spend my time with all sorts of people doing great things this is where I want to be because this is what we have to do. We have to change the conversation. And it starts by looking at those folks who have gathered all the resources, who have collected all the wealth, who have made 
all, who have captured all the gains from our economy. And it starts by saying, we need to take some of that wealth and we need to invest it in the public realm. We need to invest it in public land. We need to invest it in community land trusts. We need to invest it in affordable housing. We need to invest it in affordable community space. We need to invest it in us, the 99%. Am I right? Thank you, brothers and sisters. So, I'm here today. I will continue to show up. As long as you continue to show up, I will be there. I will use the power that I have in the Massachusetts State House. I'll use the voice that I have in this community. And let's continue showing up and let's demand change and let's demand public investment in our own community for the people who live here right now and for those who want to live here. Thank you for having me. Let's keep up the fight.